good good morning to all of you today we are going to learn the security and portfolio management in this security and portfolio management first of all i would like to discuss the security that is the capital where which you want to invest where to invest so first of all we have to have the idea that where you want to invest your capital for this we have to have the idea that this this we are discussing about the long term long term fund we are going to invest long term fund for long term so where we want to invest because we know as an investor we have to consider consider two aspects that is risk and return because when we invest the fund the fund been invested by the person who has surplus the person who has deficit cannot invest fund right so the only person who has surplus can invest fund so there are two types of person here one is risk averser one is risk taker risk averser never like any risk risk averser want to invest their fund where there is no risk then we have to have the idea which which are those instrument where the risk averser can invest fund risk inverse risk averser can invest fund in financial institutions that is bank that is called debt security debt security in debt security there are three instruments and three types of players are working one is corporate sector that is private sector one is public sector and one one is bank you can invest your fund in bank you can invest your fund in private sector that is debenture and one you can invest your fund that is called bond issued by the government public sector like you can invest your fund in lic by taking some insurance policy at the time when you the bank when lic will issue when you take the pre, uh, policy of insurance policy they will give you bond and lic is a private sector a public sector the same way like private sector that is debenture they will you have to purchase the debenture issued by private sector and bank you can invest your deposit your fund into bank maybe for one year maybe for more than one year that is five years and so on and so forth now there are again the risk is varying in all three institutions where is risk is lesser as and where is risk higher in debt security also in bank there is less risk bond there is very less risk but in corporate sector in private sector there is higher risk so if anyone will ask you if there are three that is bond debenture and bank where you want to invest so when you want lesser risk you should invest either in bank or in bond there is because both are public sector but there is a bit higher risk when you invest your fund in private sector that is if you if reliance company will issue debenture there is a bit higher risk 
which type of risk maybe the reliance company will shut down then there is risk but in bank in state bank of india there is very less risk in lic when you take the bond of lic there is very less risk so the risk is varying from one institutions to another institutions so here there is one called bond issued by public sector organization one is debenture issued by private sector that is reliance that is tata etc here lic state bank of india these are public sector like uh, third one is long term loan by bank so you can invest your money in these institutions and here is lesser risk here is lesser risk and here risk is higher if i say where you in, where you want to invest risk invest your fund here there is lesser risk here is risk here is return here here is your bond but here is your debenture here is your suppose uh, uh, bank so the risk is increasing so return here is bond the return is less here debenture the return is higher the same way if you invest your fund in security that is equity in stock market that is equity risk is very high risk is increasing so here is second one that is called owner's capital that is owner security in owner security there are two types of fund that is called equity share capital that is also called common stock and second one is preference share capital that is called preferred stock here risk is very high if i say here is bond here is bank here is debenture here is preference share and here is equity share this is your risk here is return here is just you see return is increasing return is increasing and your risk is also increasing so there is one say that is no risk no gain there is no risk if we want to invest our fund in bond there is the risk is increasing when you invest your fund in share market 
But no one like to invest no one like to invest fund in the in that instrument where there is high risk even if the person is risk taker so these are the so in this investment in security you have to take into consideration two aspects that is risk and return risk and return now the thing is whether you want to invest your fund in one stock in one company so before investing your fund you have to make a policy we have to make a formulate a policy so formulation of policy is very important to invest fund for this we have to have the knowledge about the market if you do not have knowledge if you do not have knowledge about the market you cannot formulate a good policy is that clear so we want to invest fund so the fund is this and for this we have to consider two aspect that is risk and return risk will increase when the return will increase risk will decrease when the return will decrease so we invest our fund now the question is whether suppose i have 1 lakhs of rupees to invest so where to invest in one company if yes then what happen if yes then maybe if the company is in profit no problem but what if the company is in loss then you will lose all the money right you will lose all the money so this is not good so there is one